This short sequence will be focused on opening up the hips and lower body areas. So we'll go ahead and start in a child's pose position. Let's bring your feet together. Open your knees nice and wide to allow some space for the chest to come between your thighs as you reach your hands out in front and let your forehead just rest down onto your mat. Allowing those hips to get a little bit closer to the heels and feel that nice little elongation in the lower back. And while we're in this position, we're going to add a little bit of shoulder stretch, bringing the right arm underneath the left, using the fingertips to walk yourself out. Allow your right cheek to come down onto the floor as you really reach through those right fingertips. And maybe you want to lift your hips up a little bit to get a little bit more leverage on that shoulder, stretching out the right shoulder. Continuing to walk those left fingers out a little bit further. Go ahead and use your left hand, pressing yourself back up to change sides. Extend the right arm out. Thread that left hand underneath the right arm. Open the palm up and allow that left cheek to rest down onto the mat. Making sure to relax the muscles in your face. And then scan down the rest of the body allowing those muscles to gently relax. And then coming back to that child's position, extend the arms out. See if you can press those hips back a little closer to the heels. Take a big breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, walk your hands over towards the right side of your body. Pull the left hip down towards the earth. Reaching through those left fingertips, focus on breathing into that left lung. On your next inhale, walk your hands to the center. As you exhale, over towards the left side. Pull that right hip down closer to the earth. And now focusing in on breathing through the right lung. Filling up that lung all the way. And then letting all the air go. Once again, checking to make sure the muscles in the face aren't tensing back up. And on your next inhale, walk your hands back to the center. Reach them out a little bit further. Fingers spread nice and wide. Press those palms down into the mat and gently pull back towards you. Really focus on pressing through the outsides of the hand, through the pinkies, to roll the shoulder out and underneath. Feel the space in the upper back open up a little bit. Find that space between the shoulder blades. Breathe into it. And then on your next inhale, rise to a tabletop position. Go ahead and curl those toes under and lift up to a downward facing dog. 
reaching those heels down towards the earth as you lift your hips up towards the sky. Maybe you have a little bend in both your knees. It allows your hips to get a little bit higher to the sky. Fingers to still spread nice and wide. And find that shoulder space, wrapping the shoulders out and underneath, just as we did in the child's pose. Go ahead and pedal it out a couple times, pressing the right heel down towards the mat as you bend the left knee. Change sides, pressing the left heel down and bending that right knee. And again, bringing that gentle movement. And then press both heels down for a regular down dog. Walk the feet together. Take an inhale. <clears throat> Excuse me. Reach the right foot to the sky. Toes pointed down. Then I want you to open the hips. Stack the right hip on top of the left. Bend the right knee. Let the foot fall back. Trying to keep your shoulders squared off to the mat. And then bring gentle movement, straighten and bend the right leg. Maybe you want to make a little bit of knee circles, drawing circles with that right knee, making sure to go in both directions. And then back to a three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, lower the right foot down to the mat. Left side, inhale, left foot up, three-legged dog. Stack the hip, opening left hip on top of the right. Once again, keeping those shoulders squared off to the ground and finding that gentle movement as you did for the other side. Maybe making some knee circles, straightening and bending the leg. Come back to that three-legged dog, take that inhale, exhale, lower the foot down, back to downward facing dog. Then from here, inhale, right foot up. Exhale, knee to nose. We're gonna step it all the way through. Bring that back knee down, uncurl that back toe. Option to utilize your blocks if you have blocks. Or just coming up onto your fingertips. Frame the right foot with your hands or your blocks. And I want you to focus on keeping the right knee over that heel and allow that left hip to sink down towards that earth. Bring the chest up away from the thigh. So this is where using those blocks will be really helpful to help keep the chest lifted, the heart open. Allows you to focus on bringing that hip closer to the earth as we lift through the chest. Again, relaxing those muscles in the face. Big breath in and out through the nose. And then from here, we're gonna fold forward, find a half split, adjusting those blocks as you need, bringing them back. As we find that fold over the right leg, pressing the right heel into that ground to stretch the back of the leg. Utilizing the different heights of the block as we change position, or as the space starts to open up and you're allowed to get a little bit deeper. And we're gonna bring some gentle movement, going back to that low lunge, take an inhale, lower that left hip down as we lift up, and exhale back to that half split. Inhale, low lunge, lift through the chest, exhale back to that half split. Back to that low lunge, big inhale, last time. Exhale back to that half split. Come back to that low lunge. And from this low lunge, I want you to bring that block to the outside of the right foot. Place the right hand onto that block and reach that left arm up to the sky on a big inhale. And exhale, slightly lean over to the right, using that block to help support yourself to keep that chest lifted as you continue to sink down closer to that earth. Opening up the left side, we should be feeling that. Continue to breathe nice and big through the nose and exhale right back through that nose. One more time, big breath in. On the exhale, bring that left hand back down. 
And we're gonna come to an easy twist. So curl the back toe under, left hand to the inside of the right foot. Lift that back knee up. Take an inhale, reach that right arm up to the sky. Option to bring the hand back behind you if you wanna open up, lifting the inside of that right foot off of that mat, pressing the inner thigh away from you, shifting your gaze over that right shoulder. Option to bring that knee back down for a little extra support so you can focus on getting into that twist and really opening up the hip on the right side here. And then come back to the center staying on this side, finding that lizard pose. So maybe walking that right foot out a little bit more to the outside of your mat. Hands are still to the inside of the right foot. An option to curl that back toe back up, get a little bit deeper, or you can also come down to your forearms or place your forearms down onto the block. You have three different heights of your block, so find the height that gives you the best space avail availability today. Trying to keep that knee still in alignment over that heel. And reconnecting with that breath, nice and steady. And coming back up to your hands if you're not already there removing the blocks just off to the side for a moment and then reach the right arm back behind you bend the left knee and then reaching for that left foot now if you're not able to grasp it that's okay if you happen to have a strap a strap would be a good prop to utilize to wrap around that foot to help pull that foot towards you stretching out the quad on that left side keeping the chest lifted shifting that gaze over that right shoulder you will also have the option to just skip this you could have stayed down in your lizard pose Release the foot, bring the hand back in. You're gonna dance that right foot back to meet the left knee. Press back to downward facing dog. And we're gonna to transition to the left side. Inhale, left foot up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through. Come to that low lunge. Bring that right knee down. Grabbing those blocks if you have them. And making sure you have that alignment so the knee is directly over that heel here, allowing the right hip to get closer to the earth. So I'm shifting my hips forward, really bringing that right hip down towards the earth, allowing the chest to lift up. These blocks are quite helpful here to help keep that chest lifted so I can really focus on the hips, our main focus today. Continuing to breathe steadily in and out through my nose, relaxing the muscles in my face so that I don't send signals to the rest of my body to tense up. I want to relax the body as much as possible. And then we're going to move into that half split here, shifting the weight forward, bringing those left toes towards me, readjusting the blocks as needed. And again, making sure to try to push that heel down into that ground so that I can focus on stretching the back of my leg, but also in the piriformis on the left side. We're gonna connect that breath to add that movement in here. As we inhale, come to that low lunge, lift through the chest, really lower that right hip down towards the ground and exhale, fold forward. Big inhale, low lunge, lift through the chest, bring that right hip down towards the ground and exhale, half split. One more time, big inhale, low lunge, lift through that chest, bring that right hip down and exhale, half split. Inhale to that low lunge position, finding that easy twist, 
Curling the back toe under, bringing the right hand down. Inhale, reach the left arm up to the sky. Option to bring that hand behind you. Opening up that left shoulder. Option to bring that right knee back down. And then let the inside of that left foot come off of that mat, pressing the hand into the left thigh, shifting the gaze back over that left shoulder, feeling the outer hip being stretched out now as we gently press that knee away from us. And we're going to come back in. Walk that foot out to the very edge of the mat, finding that lizard pose. Again, you can also lift that back knee off, getting a little bit deeper. You can come down to the forearms or place your hands back, arm forearms or hands down onto the block. Making sure that we have that knee over that heel on the left side. And then reconnecting with that breath, relaxing the muscles in the face. And here's where we have that option. You can stay down here in this lizard pose, or if you took that quad stretch on the other side, now we're gonna transition into that, so coming back up to our hands. Right hand down, bend that right knee, bring the right foot towards us. Reach the left arm back behind you, trying to grasp those right toes, shifting the weight slightly forward. Keep your chest lifted and shifting that gaze over that left shoulder once again. And we're gonna release, bring that hand back inside and dance that left foot back behind so the left knee meets the right knee. And then from here, we're gonna do a frog pose. So a real deep hip opener. From this frog pose, you're gonna walk your knees out, mats width apart, or you could even use the width of your, the length of your mat, which is one of my preferences and then having those blocks if you have them. Flex your feet, really important to flex your feet. Bring the knees as wide as you're able to. Now maybe this is where you stay, maybe having your hands onto those blocks because this is an intense stretch. We wanna start nice and tall. And then as space opens, because we're gonna be here for a hot minute, then you can allow yourself to get a little bit closer down to the earth Adjusting with the blocks, coming down to the forearms, really focusing on trying to press the hips back. So sit back, keeping those feet flexed. This is one of my favorite hip opening poses. I also find it one of the most challenging for most of my students. But once it's completed, you realize how, how important it is to not forget about our hips. We want to be able to keep our hips in great condition. Helps us to keep our mobility, especially as we start to age. Scanning the body, making sure those muscles in the face haven't tensed up. So give yourself a little bit of a smile there. Big breaths in through the nose and opening the mouth, let the breath go as you need. Otherwise, try to focus on breathing in and out through your nose.
should feel the space opening up. And once again, as that space starts to open up, how can you get yourself deeper into this pose? Can you bring your arms down closer to the earth? Or can you press your hips back closer to those heels? That's the best option. Take one more big breath in. Exhale it out. And to safely remove out of this, bringing your hands back up, shifting your weight slightly forward, and then point the toes, bring them in together, and then you can press up to release. Uh, and continue on with a little bit more hip stretching to finish off. Come to a comfortable seated position, starting here, or if the space allows, to a fire log position, stacking the left foot on top of the right knee so that the left knee is on top of the right foot. And starting here, really focusing on pressing those hips back down to the earth as, excuse me, as you shift your weight forward. Really pull those hips down. Try not to let them lift off that ground. Feeling that nice stretch. And if you have those blocks, you can utilize those blocks in any height that works best for you to allow yourself to settle in. Keep focusing on pressing those hips down towards the earth. Don't let them lift off. Really feel that stretch. Option to get a little bit deeper, maybe get a little bit closer to the ground, maybe even removing those blocks if you have them. Finding that space and filling it up with the breath. And then coming up, we're gonna to switch to the other side. So bring your hands back behind you, shift your weight back, and then unhook the legs and recross them the other way around. Stacking the right foot on top of the left knee, the right knee on top of the left foot. Again, you can find, start with a comfortable seated position and maybe that's where you are today and that's totally okay. Cause the idea is we still wanna Bring that connection, elongating the lower back area, the spine, by pulling those hips down, keeping that connection to the earth, and then shifting that weight forward. So find that space, find where you are today, and then just focus on breathing into that space. We just notice as we change sides that we have one side that's going to be a little bit tighter than the other. And we just make those adjustments to fine tune it to give that side what it needs to become more balanced with the other side. Big breaths in and out through the nose. Take 
Take one more big breath in. Letting it go. And then rising back up to that seated position. Shifting the weight back to release out of that position. And then find a more comfortable seated spot. To just finish off this practice. Just resting your hands on top of your knees for a moment and regrouping, lifting through the chest. Gently drawing the shoulders down away from your ears, tucking the chin under slightly as you reach the crown, the top of your head, higher to the sky. Elongating that spine with our posture. Making one final connection with the breath. Take an inhale through your nose. Hold it at the top. And then open the mouth, letting it go. One last time, big breath in through the nose. Hold it at the top, opening the mouth, letting it go. Bringing the hands together in a prayer for gratitude for being here, arriving on the mat and taking the time for you and giving back to your body so that we can continue to progress and move forward. I'm grateful to have you here with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your journey. Namaste.